So I may not be the biggest racing game consumer, and to you watching, I'm probably an uncultured swine in terms of racing game knowledge, but I did really enjoy some racing games. Some that come to mind are Burnout Paradise, Need for Speed Most Wanted, Blur, and of course, the Mario Kart games. Of course, all of those games cost money, and well, actually, most of the popular racing games that come to mind cost at least some amount of money. Well, fortunately, with some research and a whole lot of dedicated time, I was able to find some pretty great racing games that don't cost anything. I do want to mention that I made this video because of a suggestion from Mr. Monkey Gamer, and I do want to say that most, if not all of these picks are low-end PC friendly. So thank you for the suggestion, and if anyone else has a suggestion for a video that you'd like me or the rest of the Cubo crew to look into and make, let us know down in the comments or in our Discord server. Anyway, how's it going everyone? I'm Caleb from Cubo Gaming, and here are my top 10 picks for the best racing games that you can get right now on Steam. Also, my definition of racing games may be a little broad in this video, so not all will include what you may think of as a traditional vehicle, but you can count on all these having the same overall goal of racing to the finish line or beating some sort of time score. So I wanted to start out this list with a game that I actually feel is very polished, but it is a starter to the list because it's just a prologue. If you've kept up with the channel, then you've probably heard me say this before, but I usually don't bother recommending prologues because I feel that they are just kind of short demos and not worth the time. But there are some exceptions. The Inertial Drift Sunset is definitely one of them. So again, it is just a prologue, but the game feels and looks really unique, which is why I thought it was worth mentioning. It's very arcadey and it's got a huge emphasis on drifting. I mean, the drifting is pretty aggressive, but it adds to the whole arcade feel and look of the game. You have a couple different tracks and cars to choose from, but of course, as with any racing game, you always play the tracks more than once to try and beat your previous time. I love the retro look of the game and even though the drifting is pretty aggressive and different from what you may be used to, I actually think that this is a solid option if you're looking for a fun racing game. So the next two games are pretty similar and you know, to some people these may not check all of the boxes to call these racing games, but I think for a lot of people this will still satisfy that fast score beating gameplay. So. Turbo Tunnel is an extremely fast paced, endless racing game where your goal is basically to avoid all of the harmful objects and obstacles so that you can get to the highest score. I guess this type of game is really best suited for those times where you don't really feel like playing something that takes a whole lot of effort, but will pass the time. There are also a bunch of different power ups too, things like extra lives, shields, boosts, and some score multipliers. Just more things that kind of add to the gameplay so it makes the game have more replayability. It doesn't really offer a whole lot, but it's a really good free endless racing game to keep around to pass some time. So like I said before, Similar to Turbo Tunnel, Forward is another retro style racing game, but it actually does differ from Turbo Tunnel quite a bit. So why do I say it's different? Well, aside from the art style looking similar, the game actually follows a more traditional racing game type style than Turbo Tunnel. Forward isn't endless. Instead, you actually do have different levels and you have to reach the finish line. And instead of obstacles just being there to take your lives, they do slow you down, which in turn affect your end finish time. So this motivates you to avoid as many as you can so you can get a better score and reach the finish line in the fastest possible time. Obviously, you aren't getting hundreds of hours of content here, but even though you have a limited amount of maps, you always have that need to want to beat your previous score. I really like the gameplay from this one, and I think even though it may not be exactly what you may think of when you think of a racing game, it offers the same addicting gameplay. If you are a fan of Mario Kart and similar games to that, then I think Haberdashers is something you'll really enjoy. It's got really fun gameplay, and you see a lot of things that you'd see when playing something like Mario Kart. 
you'll see boosters and power-ups that make it really similar to a lot of the console arcade-like racing games. The game may be in pre-alpha and have only three tracks right now, but this has a crazy amount of polish and content. You can have eight racers in each race, both real players and AI. Now, there is multiplayer, but it's limited to Steam remote play and local split screen. And you don't have to play multiplayer because you can still play with the AI. But it goes to show that the game offers a whole lot for being completely free. You also get a variety of car model types, wheel types, and colors. Not only that, but you also get some character selection too. Obviously, again, it doesn't offer nearly as much as you know something like Mario Kart, but for being made by a group of students and being completely free, the game is really worth trying and keeping an eye on to see where this game goes. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you are enjoying the video so far, consider subscribing to the channel. Me and the rest of the Cubo crew really do put a lot of time and effort into our content and it helps us out a lot. Not only that, but if you like what we put out, check out our gaming podcast, Cubocast. It's kind of where we all just sit down and relax to talk about upcoming games and some of our favorite games to play. We really enjoy recording those and we'd love for you to check that out too. Anyway, back to the list. Okay, so Mad Run is yet another game that may not fit into your definition of a racing game, but for me, I think this one really deserves a spot on the list, and maybe after hearing what it has to offer, you'll think so too. So yes, you may not have a car or drifting, but you do have the goal of reaching the finish line and reach it before your friends. So the game can be played single player, but I highly recommend playing this with friends. This game allows up to seven players and your goal is to reach the end of the level before your friends. But of course, it isn't that easy. There are 20 levels as of right now and they are all loaded with all kinds of power-ups and items so you can create as much chaos as possible to prevent your friends from beating you. You can also play a timed solo mode where you try and beat your own time, but like I said before, this game is way better with friends. So yes, it may not fit the exact look of what a racing game usually looks like, but I think the game is a whole lot of fun and definitely worth playing and racing against your friends. Late City Riders is a little bit of a different racing game with a weird mechanic, but it's definitely a lot of fun. So the game consists of 20 levels where your main goal is to make it to work on time. You use cars and jump between the cars in order to eventually smash through your office to make it to work on time. The jumping mechanic is really fun and the gameplay is pretty addicting. The driving really isn't anything special here, but it's more of a fun arcadey experience. Really, that's basically what the game is about. Nothing super in-depth, but I think the game was just so unique and different that it deserved a place on this list. So now we get to a little bit more of a traditional racing game, Project Torque, which is actually a game from 2008 that was ported over to Steam very recently. So even though the game was made years ago, it's still being updated and managed even now. The game can be played solo or played online with friends. Actually, it's a massively multiplayer racing game. So you can even play with a large amount of people if you are able to find people online. I've seen some people say it doesn't have that many players, but even if you have trouble finding other players, you can always play alone against AI or get some of your own friends to download the game and play with. Basically, this is an extremely traditional racing game with great handling, a good amount of cars, and hours of content. I've also heard Project Torque as being one of, if not the greatest racing game for low end PCs. So that's something to keep in mind. So there may not be that many people playing anymore, but I still think Project Torque is worth looking into. Yet another traditional type racing game, Trackmania Nations Forever is a fast paced racing game with a campaign, timed modes, online PVP, and a ton more than just that. Kind of similar to Project Torque, the game is a little bit of an older one being made in 2008, is now on Steam and allows you to play online with friends and other players. And also, it's a pretty impressive campaign with a ton of tracks and game modes. The campaign alone has at least 65 different tracks, and if you somehow get through all of that, you can also use an in-game level editor where you can make your own tracks. 
Honestly, this game is probably one of the most true free games I've seen in a long time. It gives you so much and really doesn't have any hidden agendas. The developers just want to provide an enjoyable experience. Also, you'll be happy to hear that the game is also extremely easy to run on a low-end PC, so I really recommend checking out Trackmania. Race Room is a little bit of a more updated free racing game from other similar ones I've listed on this video. The game aims for more of a realistic graphical style while also offering a little bit of its own artistic style too. In Race Room, you get to race with Paganis, BMWs, McLarens, and a whole list of other cars. Basically, this game feels and looks like a full price racing game that's free. Now, I will say that the game doesn't exactly adopt the completely free business model of Trackmania. So, you know, you'll see transactions in the game, but I think for what it offers in terms of being free, it's actually really good. You really do get that premium racing game handling and look from this game. The sound design is also really good and it just plain out feels like a game that should be a full price game. There are single player game modes against AI. And again, this game feels premium and the AI is really good in this one. You can also play in various online modes too, like competitions or tracks against your friends. So Race Room is really a premium option that's completely free and may be a little harder to run if you have a lower end PC and you are going to run into some paywalls, but for what it is, it's something worth checking out. Interstate Drifter 1999 is my top pick for free racing games. And the reason for that is the game is actually really challenging and has a great soundtrack and looks and feels extremely unique. I love the retro pixelated art style in this game and the colors are awesome. It definitely has the most original feeling gameplay and overall look out of pretty much all of the other games in this list. Now, I'm not saying it exactly offers more because you know, it's got a couple hours of gameplay depending on how much you replay it and want to beat your previous score. I don't know, maybe I'm just a sucker for retro 2D games, but I love the gameplay. And I said it before, but the soundtrack is awesome. You can also get some power-ups like energy and things like grip, which help you with drifting. And while you play, you have to challenge other rivals. And like I said before, the game is actually pretty challenging. And if you miscalculate a drift, you can easily fall off the course. I really like Interstate Drifter 1999, and I really think it offers a really unique look and experience for being completely free. All right, well, that's it for this video. I hope I was able to help you out in your search for some great free racing games. And if you like the video, be sure to check out some of our other videos on the channel. Again, we also have a gaming podcast where me and the rest of the Cubo crew just sit down and talk about all things game related. They are longer than what you'll usually find on something like YouTube, but we really enjoy it and it's something worth checking out. All links are in the description below.